It is 947 on this Saturday morning. Time for Imagine It. We have Carl Nelson here from the Imagination Station. I noticed the goggles or the glasses, so I'll put those on. Very stylish. What are we doing today? We're talking about flammability of vapors. Ah, okay. So okay. These, these water jugs don't have water in them. Okay. Empty them out, put in some flammable alcohol. Hmm. Okay. And so okay. actually what I want you to do is take this one. There's like two ounces of isopropyl alcohol. And if you could just like rotate that whole thing, sure. okay. we want to coat the inside okay. with the liquid. All because right. what we're going to do is we're going to try to ignite the vapor and not the liquid. Okay. okay. If we light the liquid up, it's just going to melt the jug. And while that's interesting, it's not quite what we're going for. So essentially, for somebody playing along at home, you might be thinking this is one major reason why you shouldn't be smoking when you're pumping gas, correct? That would be correct, absolutely. Um, right. In fact, you know what, let's, let's get rid Keep of the liquid. Keep it going, okay. Yeah. No, no, I think you did a great job there. We got lots of vapor inside. Oh, now okay, so you're gonna pour the liquid pour out. Pour the liquid out. Okay. Because again, we only want to ignite the vapors. And I'll do the same for mine. Now these are two different alcohols. And what okay. we're gonna do is we're gonna compare how the vapors combust, all right? Okay. In order to do that, I've got a little Candle on a stick here. Okay, happy birthday to me. Let's happy not light myself on fire. Now, hold that good. away from the vapors for a second. Okay. Let me, I'll flip this over. I think okay. we got all the liquid out. All right. Put it right there. And what I want you to do is very carefully bring the flame and actually step over next to me. Okay. A little bit. Bring the flame near the top of the jug. All right. And we'll see if we can ignite that vapor. Bring it down really close. Okay. Keep it going. Yeah, get a little bit closer in there. Okay. Oh, alrighty, and there we go. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now that was 70% isopropyl alcohol. Okay. So the other 30% is water. Mm -hmm. So we had a nice, really kind of controlled flame there. Sure. With the water sort of moderating that a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swap this out. Okay. I'm this trying not is to drip wax everywhere. 95% ethyl okay. alcohol. Okay. So Alrighty. a little bit beefier, no right. water in there. I'm going to tip this over. Bring it down in. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh my gosh. Wow. So see, that is a lot more That combustible. blew out the candles. Blew out the candles <laughs> as well. Okay. Okay. So one last jug I have here, and this one is methyl alcohol. Now this stuff is hundreds of times easier to change into a, a volatile vapor okay. than the previous two. You can even hear some of that mm -hmm. gas coming out there. But we're going to do the same thing with this one and compare this. And we should probably take this moment to say, don't try this at home. I'm a little bit nervous from the last one. I don't know <laughs> if I can do this one. Okay. So this is only something you want to see at the Science Center or here and Imagine It. So okay. One last one. Methyl alcohol. Very, very volatile. Very, very flammable. Uh -huh. Do the same sort of thing again. Okay. All right. Just sort of step back over here okay. and bring the... Uh-huh. Get right into the open. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it's actually still going. It's still going. As that air heats up inside, it pushes out, it pulls uh -huh. more oxygen in, and it just keeps sort of oscillating, still Yeah, I can see burning. it. It's kind of still hard burning. to see on television, but yeah, yeah. wow, okay. So again, three different kinds of alcohols, three different sort of flammabilities. And this is the kind of chemistry that, if you're a firefighter, mm -hmm. you need to know about. Oh, if yeah, you're gonna sure. go into a situation that has flammable vapors, mm -hmm. the gas station, great example. Sure. You want to understand a little bit of what can happen with those vapors. They can be very dangerous. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> so again, don't try it at home. Come down to the Science Center and we'll show you how to, we'll show you how to do it there. Safely. That'll wake you right up. All right, Carl <laughs> Nelson, thanks so much. You can go down to the Imagination Station. They are open today. Carl, thanks for coming in once again, showing us how science works and making it fun at the yeah. same time. Thank you. All right, stay right there. We have uh, the guys with sports.